All right, welcome back to Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog, and I want to talk about my new Interceptor. I was so lucky to win this bike uh, when Pedago Corporate and Fountain Valley had their grand opening for their new location. They gave away two bikes, two e-bikes, and you had to be there to win. They gave out a coupon, a ticket for everyone, and actually some people left, and I was actually the fourth ticket pulled, and I ended up walking out of there with this top of the line neon blue with mags interceptor with all the bells and whistles and the minute I got it I knew there was going to be some some upgrades to make it safer and more comfortable for me so uh, I've talked a lot about the interceptor before just a fantastic uh, bike it's a 48 volt bike but let's talk about some of the updates okay so uh, definitely uh, added some lighting to it got the orp smart horn on there with the remote and uh, what I like about that is it, and it's also got the horn part. And I added uh, uh, a surface Thunderbolt up front. And I'll probably change the lighting around a little bit, but we'll see. Got my Avis uh, Bordeaux extra long lock on there. I really uh, actually the colors on that complement the bike really nicely. One thing I'm really liking is I got the Moto Reflex pedals. Now, uh, Pedagol Myrtle Beach is the only U.S. distributor on these, and boy, what a difference they make. Now, as we move up, it's kind of uh, got it stealthed out with a cover, but got the body float, suspension isolation seat post. A lot of Pedagol dealers offer those. What a difference, and I topped that off with the Surface Tailbone Saddle. The saddles these come with are pretty comfortable until you do over five miles or so and then they start getting just a little bit on the tight side. Okay, just that uh, light there, you're not really going to see it much, but I figured I'd add it on. Got a couple of the surface uh, lights and what I like about these is, is they do mount easily everywhere. And got the Pedagol bag, I've had that for a while, finally have a nice place for it to stay at home. Now one thing I'm especially proud of is it has the mag wheels and it's probably uh, just slightly obvious but I did some custom mods to put on the light me up safety lights and I put in extra lights all off one battery pack and uh, the uh, I'll do some more on that in fact I'm gonna do a whole thing on the light me up safety lights that you're gonna get a kick out of those so I tried to add the uh, you know pieces that are tasteful not to overdo it but uh, things that are gonna make it more comfortable easier to ride and I think I've done just that so uh, Really happy, super lucky to get this bike, really comfortable, a very nice e-bike. Uh, i gotta, uh, got to thank the two people that went home at the event before uh, my ticket was pulled. Like I say, the fourth ticket, so I shouldn't even have won, but what are you going to do? Anyhow, so that's the Pedigree Interceptor in neon blue with the mags. 48 volts, got the extra range battery, built-in lighting, a lot of things it comes with, but with the, uh, the pedals the body float, the bag, the extra lighting, and these light me up safety lights. Uh, when I first got it, I didn't really know how I was going to put those on there, and, but I rode it at night right away and I said, no, they got to have it. Got to have the light me up safety lights. So uh, keep an eye out for how those work. Uh, they are especially bright. It's amazing. All right. Thanks for following along. Uh, you'll be seeing me on this bike quite a bit now that it's mine. I ride all kinds of e-bikes, all brands and types for tests and reviews, but this one's all mine.